Gaia Online. This website might ring a bell for a lot of internet users in the 2000s. So if it's your first time watching me, I usually do content based on Japan because I live here. And you might be wondering why do a video about Gaia Online? Well, well, Gaia Online was very significant in the earlier days of my youth. And it was probably one of the only few places where I could talk about anime, Japanese culture without being made fun of. It's quite surprising how mainstream anime has gone in nowadays and you know, people don't really find you weird for enjoying anime as much as kids like me growing up did. Websites like Club Penguin, Hab Hotel, Neopets, they all kind of disappeared into obscurity. But today, in the year 2022, we're going to be revisiting Gaia Online. So my history of Gaia Online kind of began in the year 2006 and I was fairly active until the year 2012. I was just kind of busy with school and a lot of my friends kind of grew out of the website, including myself. So today I have invited my friend Jay to help me out so he can teach me what changed over these past few years. Um, I have Jay Tetz here, also a streamer, also a YouTuber. You guys should go check him out. We're going to be going through Gaia Online. Now, what is your history with Gaia Online? When did you start? I Are started you... in uh -huh. 2006 on uh, an account using my dad's email. <laughs> 2006? Yeah, yeah 2006. Okay. okay, that's pretty early. Like, the only community that's still here uh, exists on the CB, which is uh, Chatterbait. Chatterbait, or yeah. Chatterbait. Wait, no, why Chatterbox. did I say chat? Why did I agree to that? No, no, I know what you're talking about. It's Chatterbox, Chatterbox. Chatterbait, <laughs> come on, man. You're putting shit in my mouth. So apparently Guy Online had gotten rid of their famous monthly collectibles. And these monthly collectibles would change every single month. And you could either spend real money to purchase them or spend a lot of gold in the marketplace. Nowadays, it doesn't exist anymore. And there is actually a method to donate money directly to the website so you can get like a little flare next to your name. So it kind of tells you like the forums are a very vital part of the website. So Gaia used to have monthly collectibles, right? Yeah. Release yeah. Something An item every, every month. month, yeah. Yeah, uh, so they did away with that. Oh, they don't uh, have monthly items anymore? They don't have it anymore because they release items so frequently now that it's just, who's gonna buy them? Right. And also, it, like, there was a point where the monthly collectibles just started to uh, decline in quality. A quality, yeah. Yeah, they they probably just ran out of ideas, to be honest. Probably. Well, yeah, because now they kind of just recolor everything and release it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so what they do now is you can support Gaia and you can get like a support badge, and basically it's just like a stupid thing that goes next to your name on the forums that that's that should tell you how prevalent forms are forums are right now right because that's your fucking that's your flair basically i think a lot of the problems lied with the team behind banning people i was pleasantly surprised how active the forums were even with some categories that might have seemed like it was not popular it was still very active even with only about on a good day, 20k concurrent viewers, the site still seemed to be fairly healthy. For those who are unaware, most games ran on Flash software and was widely used back then. However, a few years ago, Flash is no longer supported. Most of these games kind of died out unless you own the Waterfox browser with certain extension, which I kind of forgot to download during the stream. Growing up, there were certain items that were considered legendary. The steel-plated ninja headband, the angelic halo, katanas. These items are nearly impossible to buy nowadays with how inflated the marketplace is. It's like NFTs before NFTs were actually really a thing. Next, we're going to move on to the Gaia Online profiles. And a lot of these are kind of rough to look at because no one has updated them and uh, just I would just think of it like a like a like a time capsule of some sort. I but found it's it. It's private. Oh no! You want to see my drip though? You want to see my drip? I gotta see your drip. That was my drip right there. That's that's my account. It was ex Utah. 
That's it right there. That's my account. <laughs> I was so toxic. Damn. I was like, lol, shut the fuck up, please. What the fuck? You're wearing the fucking... Uh-huh. What? Piggy shirt. Yep. That you only get from, like, buying actual virtual cash. Was it? Oh, I'm such a loser, dude. dude <laughs> 2013 no. was the last time I, I've signed in. Oh, I can't believe this. Wow, wait, it's on the Wayback Machine? That's cringe. Now, after a few minutes of getting Waterfox and getting trolled by my own Twitch chat, I finally got it working. I was surprised how intact the rally was and how fairly lively it was. Oop. Things never change, huh? I'm maybe, yeah, maybe throw in some XDs in, in, in here. People actually do have the deepest conversations. People have the deepest conversation in this side of the rally. It's a <laughs> very deep. I've heard to mention that there are actually two rallies. The newest rally doesn't look as good as the original, and for some reason, it's just a lot more clunkier. There really aren't many people on it much, and uh, you can tell why. Talents has also changed quite a lot, but it was definitely deserted compared to the rallies. So you want me to wrap up Gaia Online as a whole? Well, Gaia Online meant a lot to kids like me growing up. There was never an outlet for me to really talk about Japanese culture growing up in America, and Gaia was a place for me to discover that side of me. I had times where I would lie about being Japanese because I'd be bullied in school. But on Gaia Online, I would actually have a place where I would feel safe and accepted. And, you know, it, it feels silly just thinking and talking about all the times where I would spend time and money on the marketplace or, or I would spend late nights getting no sleep talking to people that I would never ever talk to again. And now the site is decaying in front of our eyes. And I'm okay with it because Guy Online provided everything for me growing up and it's not something that I would go back to anymore. I grew up and and I owe a lot to the website. All I gotta say is thanks Gaia. Thanks Gaia Online for being there for me when there was no one else. Okay, that that was kind of dramatic. <laughs> Anyways, that was the end of the video. Thanks guys for making it to the very end. And if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, please, I would appreciate it. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of this year. We're almost there, we're almost there. And uh, I also stream on twitch.tv. If you guys want to talk to me there directly, please check me out there and follow the channel. Uh, well, bye guys, and thanks for watching.